This is KCTV English News. I'm Nick Brontis. The national government is cutting fuel taxes by 15 percent for a six-month period. The decision was made Wednesday during an economic ministerial meeting. The lower rate goes into effect November 6th. The government says this will reduce gasoline prices by up to 123 won per litre, diesel prices by up to 87, and LPG prices by as much as 30 won per litre. The Energy Ministry will receive daily reports from service and LPG stations to ensure their prices reflect the tax cut. A liter of gas here in Jeju is currently an average of 1,734 won. One of Jeju's representatives at the National Assembly has given advance notice of a legal change that clears the way for the establishment of a national maritime high school here in Jeju. Democratic Party Representative Wee Sung Goon says the revision is to the enforcement ordinance for the establishment of such schools. The law currently deals with the purpose, establishment and location of only the Busan and Incheon National Maritime High Schools. The change will add a school in Jeju to that list. One of the Moon Jae-in administration's stated objectives is to cultivate the maritime workforce in Jeju. The first retrial for people convicted of offenses during the April 3rd incident is scheduled to begin at 4 p.m. October 29th at Jeju District Court. The court will consider the cases of 18 people, including Yang Gun Bang, who applied for the retrials. All had been convicted of carrying out a rebellion and violating the National Guards Act. The court decided to accept their petitions for retrials because authorities could not confirm the existence of arrest warrants for the accused, even though they had been imprisoned. Some were also found to have been subject to illegal detention and cruel treatment. All kindergartens in Jeju will use an online system to recruit new students for the 2019 academic year. The Provincial Education Office says the system will be used by 97 public kindergartens as well as the 21 private schools that didn't use it last year. Parents will be able to complete the full admissions process from application to registration online without the need to visit a kindergarten in person. Hunting season begins November 20th. It will be allowed from sunrise to sunset through the end of February. Hunters are allowed to target pheasants, turtle doves, ducks, magpies, sparrows, and crows. Prospective hunters must apply for a license with the province by October 28th. The four-day CJ Cup at Nine Bridges ended Sunday, but analysts say the economic effects of hosting the PGA Tour event will continue. Joseph Kim reports. The world's leading golfers are competing against the backdrop of the island's fresh green fields. The CJ Cup at Nine Bridges was broadcast live to one billion households in 227 countries. Jeju used the four-day long professional golf tournament on the PGA Tour to let the world know about the island's golf course infrastructure and nature. Banners promoting the island, found everywhere on the golf course, were exposed to international television viewers throughout the tournament period. The island sees great results of the promotion, worth about 200 billion won from the event. 41,000 golf fans came to the venue to watch the match play. 6,000 more spectators joined the gallery compared to last year's event. This creates a positive effect on the local economy. Experts say the spending of the visitors in accommodations, food and shopping is estimated at more than 15 billion won. Uh, a lot of the other players, even throughout the week, um, wanted to get, you know, maybe away from the hotel for certain evenings to go and explore different restaurants, um, just explore some of the local markets. Uh, so I think and then hopefully, you know, we're bringing in more spectators from not only just the mainland in Korea, but Japan and China and I think, you know, just all over the region. I th 
The CJ Cup at Nine Bridges is the nation's only professional golf tournament on the PGA Tour. While eyes of the world's golf fans were on the tournament, the island enjoyed a big economic boost. Joseph Kim, KCTV. Visitors to Marado can enjoy some unique activities on the small island, like musical performances and special photo opportunities. Soak in a multitude of various hued marigolds and enjoy a number of activities at Sang Hyowon's Marigold Festival. QAD Natural Park is hosting a festival based on colorful pink muli, a type of ornamental grass with vibrant pink tails. Podo Gallery, with its beautiful natural setting, is exhibiting a collection of landscapes painted on wood. Korean and international movies are being screened for free at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday at the Cheju Movie Culture and Art Center in Tapto. There's a 60 to 70 percent chance of showers throughout the day Friday with 5 to 30 millimeters of rain possible. It will be quite windy as well. For more, here's your forecast. The morning low in Jeju City will be 16 and the afternoon high 21 degrees. In Sogipo, temperatures will fall between 17 and 20. In Songsan, the low before lunch will be 16 and the high later on, again, 20 degrees. Similar temperatures are expected across the island in Gosan. And the morning low at higher elevations like Songpanak will be 12 and the afternoon high 17 degrees. Taking a look at the marine forecast winds will be out of the southeast and south at 8 to 16 meters per second. And seas will be quite rough by times getting up to 4 meters. And here's what's in store for us over the next few days. And that brings us to the end of today's broadcast. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope you'll join me tomorrow at the same time. Don't forget to visit us online at eng.kctvcheju.com. Shichang Jerebun, come up to me,